Welcome to my guide on how to survive the viral apocalypse as a gamer. And as every gamer knows, the most important thing for gaming is RGB. Without it, I don't know where we'd be. But unfortunately, in these trying times, RGB is really isn't enough. It doesn't have the antimicrobial or antiviral properties that something like UV lights do. So today we're going to be modding a fan, an RGB fan, just like this one, on how to use UV strips compared, to, and we're going to be removing the old RGB strip. So let's see how it goes. So, uh, <clears throat> excuse me one second. A little parched. Um, I was able to stock up on this toilet paper, but couldn't get much bottle, bottle water. So luckily my friends at Mod My Mods has some mod water that I can drink till then. Mm. Good. Com comes with, um, comes in RGB as well. So anyway, um, Back onto the topic, what we'll need are we're going to need some RG or sorry, some UV strips, some like a Molex or SATA cable, a hammer, some solder, a soldering iron, and most importantly, an angle grinder. Oh, and can't forget this little sponger or whatever they call it. So, there's these little tabs. What we're going to do is we're going to push this into little tabs right here to remove this little face plate and you're going to notice as soon as we do open this up there's going to be some wires coming in for the RGB which are right here we just have to desolder it now we'll just take this Molex connector over here and put these strips in And, okay, so just hooked up the Molex to it, and there we go. Okay, and voila, there we have it. We have a UV fan, but we have to give it a try. Yeah, so there we go. So let's turn off the lights and see how it looks. Ooh. Sorry, get a little warm in here. But that looks pretty neat. Actually it has a few more LEDs than this RGB fan. And it looks pretty cool. Well, if you want more tips like this and enjoy this video, feel free to subscribe. Thank you for turning in and have a wonderful day.